Okay, let's uh, continue. Just looking at the recipe, what is this? Yeah, welcome back YouTube. Hope you're enjoying, if you're watching later. Uh, okay, let me see. I mean, I'm just not gonna get into... Okay, I'm gonna go across and then there was a couple of shelves here that I just wanna check out quickly. But otherwise, yeah, it's... I guess head to Rita, and then I'll I'll do some planning there. I can't really think of any other scenarios where, like, at the, even at the time, I was like, hmm, this is probably not thorough enough. I think Linnea is probably the only one in, around Hatuno. So, I guess let's just play it by ear. Pretend that didn't happen. This is like a mage doubt, but I'll fly over it. It's just later when it comes to desperation, I just don't want this to be a consideration. That'll do. As long as it shows, yeah, okay. It was considered. I think so far, by the looks of it, it's. The ones that I have found have been in little pockets that I just didn't walk all the way to the corner. Which kind of makes sense. So I think if I look for more things like that, it might work well. Okay, let me look. Uh, not here. It wasn't here. Well, okay. Yes, let me go to that. That's because that's a corner there. I'll climb up, may as well, at this point. Why is it not recovering? Yeah, this is this is where I was thinking. <laughs> I 
hope I find another one on the way there. If I don't, it'll be a little bit worrying. This is what I was thinking, but it's nothing. Okay. But still. There's another one over there. Uh, no, but that one's been checked. Alright, so that's down there, down there, down there, and then we can proceed. Oh, I see. That's like this. They should have done what they did in Twilight Princess and just show how many were- or at least, not right away, but later. Show how many are in each region. The fact that you have to... It's just- nah, there's 900 across this massive world. Don't worry about the breakdown. should show how many in each region. Yeah, they really should. You, you could Google it, but I guess that's it's one of the things that you shouldn't have to. Like, it should have been thought out in its design. Like, hmm, you know what? 900? That's a lot. That's a lot to try and say, just go look for 900 of these that are distributed across this large map. A breakdown of the distribution would have been good, because some areas do not have nearly as much as others. The example I always throw to over to is, where is this mountain? This, this mountain, this exact mountain here, this, this area just directly north of me. It is insane how many Koroks there are in this area that it's like, I think it has more than the Gerudo Valley and I think it has more than, um, what do you call it? The Blanero Mountain. Which are major areas, so this is just like a little hill. Now that that's it. I'm not looking along this because I think this is fine. Well, fine for now. Now the reason I say this doesn't have one is because I climbed this and then 
the game decided to backtrack me like 20 minutes for some reason. So I know not to worry about this, especially since there's one pretty much underneath it. I'm not positive. I'm... It's not like 100% certainty, but it's one of those things where I, I will gain more from looking elsewhere. Let's put it that way. And if I am super desperate, I'll come back. Also, hello, Messiah. How are you? How's things? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Doing good, how about me? Uh, yeah, doing alright. It's just busy week so far, but... Yeah, getting there. Just at the point now where I am... Going to backtrack to certain areas. I'm at the point now where, yeah, that's that's a thing that I'm gonna be doing. No, no, like, <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm done with all the shrines I can do up to this point, and now it's just. I've gone to every tower and I've done my best and now I'm backtracking to a few spots where I know I've missed some because it's visible on the map that I missed some. Almost only one week left. I know, that's why I'm trying to... Like, I guess, if you haven't seen... I'll talk about my approach to how I'm going to try and hunt these last ones down, but... I don't know how I missed that one. I don't know how I missed that one. I wouldn't be able to tell you, but that one I, I'm kind of shocked that I, I missed it. And then there's one on top of the Rito building, which I'll just go get. And then from there, we'll start uh, playing a game of like, which area is, is more likely to have something. From a tower by tower basis. This is the one mountain that I'm I'm positive this is fine because I I was very thorough with this. Am I going to stream regular time when Tears of the Kingdom comes out? I think Tears of the Kingdom is probably going to have a special schedule. And by schedule, I mean, like, I'll probably wake up and just start playing it right away, because normally I wake up and then, you know, I go about my day. And then I don't start streaming until it's the evening of my time. That's typically what happens. But on the Saturday, I can't imagine that's, what, that's what's going to happen. I'm probably... Gonna play it Friday night as it comes out. Stay up late, go to sleep, wake up, and start playing it again. That's likely what's gonna happen, but we'll see. No marathon stream, but it'll be more like just more. You don't want to miss the beginning. Well, I'll tell you what, for Tears of the Kingdom specifically, I will set a time. And I'll stick to that time. It's just, I won't be able to confirm it until maybe a couple of days beforehand. I need to feel out how the work week is going and the likelihood of when I'm going to be like, okay, yeah, I can wrap up for the day or for the week. There is there is a lot going on at the moment. 
you'll set an alarm. Well, you don't know for when yet. <laughs> but I appreciate the commitment. I'm going past the, uh, good ingredient things, so. No alarm for every hour. <laughs> just, yeah, no, uh, no deep sleep at all. Just get to the point where you're entering deep sleep and then wake up. And I'm trusting that Amazon will do their job and bring the physical copy of the game to me on the release day, as promised. They ha they usually do. It's like, I think once, one time they didn't, and that was understandable because it was, there were storms and uh, parts of the, the city got flooded, so... So sad you're gonna miss the stream on the 13th. What's on the 13th? What day is the 13th? Oh, the Saturday. But I ha yeah, I mean, I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna play it, that's all. I could, I could choose to just constantly play it, or maybe I could just be like, alright, just play it as normal and not rush it, I don't know. My daughter's making communion and can't be on the phone as much. Oh, no, come on, that's fine, just, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I can't make up a valid excuse. Without, without, uh, like laughing at it. Why is this mountain so good? I'm not looking for Koroks right now, like I'm just... ...collecting all the various good stuff here. Hide in the back of church. That's funny. Just, you know, some people, they see TV shows and it's just, they always present, you know, people during sporting events trying to sneak in, listening to the game. This is just that, but <laughs> it's, it's gaming. It's kind of funny. But what if something funny happens, and then you laugh out loud, and then what are you going to explain? Like, imagine they're doing a very serious thing. And I mean, something absolutely hysterical happens. How do you explain it? <laughs> run to the bathroom. Uh. Something absolutely hysterical, like getting struck by lightning almost inside a building.
I forgot to go back and take a look at what happened, but... 90% certain the lightning went through the building. And almost hit me. Because there's, why would a be why would Beetle have woken up and reacted and was all scared like something had sh almost shot him? What are the odds of that? Honestly, pretty high. The, the way I play stuff. I mean, if you look at this, how many jank things have happened to me? Or just either unlucky or things that, hmm, that's not normal. Or self-fulfilling prophecies, like it's just everything. was playing and got hit by lightning. I was like, what was that? Why did that happen? Was wearing metal, probably. Unless you're me, it's like, <laughs> that's probably the only way you're getting hit by lightning. Because I was never in a game before, did not expect it. Ah. I mean, it does does warn you. It's not like it happens right away. It's like a, a sound effect that keeps going off. Like, if you've ever played Sonic the Hedgehog and you're underwater, and then the little sound effect starts playing, you don't wonder, hmm, why is the sound effect playing? Hmm, why is the sound effect getting more often? Why does it sound like a bomb is about to go off? It's the same thing, it's just with electricity. <laughs> the last Zelda game you played was Majora's Ass. Mars didn't have the sound on. Oh. Well, yeah, okay, that'll do it. Jeez, that's going to be interesting. Not being able to hear certain things. Like, say, the growl of a Lionel. Or a Talus appearing out of the ground in the music. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Weren't there big radishes on this hill, or am I wrong? That's more what I, I want, more than anything else. There's no way to use headphones on a Switch. Yeah, there are. Bluetooth ones, yeah. There's a little thing you can get, which, uh... You can use a Bluetooth headset on. I got one. Yeah. I can link it if you want. I just have to find it. They so just plug into the bottom port, the charger port. That's the only downside. It's like you can't charge and use it. I think some of them have pass through where you can, but the one that I have can't. 
Hang on. Oh, can it? Where is it? It's on my desk somewhere here. Where are you? Yeah, this one doesn't have pass-through, but you can... But the reason I like this one is because it's tiny. There's bigger ones that do have the ability to charge and provide it. Um, hold on. Yeah, this is the one I have. But there's uh, there's other models available. But uh I you know, I do like this one because it's so it's so tiny and it it just it sits in there. It's pretty nice. It's good for travel. Just and it also comes with uh an adapter so you can put it into the dock as well so when it's docked you can use it and then you just unplug it from the adapter so you leave the adapter inside the dock there's others available but yeah that's the one that i i have surprised the switch didn't have it built in like that just seems like such a weird thing to not want to have on it okay i'm just going around to this rear hill it's not that i'm looking for korok i'm getting food because i haven't replenished ingredients in a while It's an extra that can make money on, but Nintendo doesn't even really sell a Bluetooth adapter themselves. That's that's the weird part. So they're not really making money on it. They just didn't add it. Like I don't think Nintendo makes an official one. Like, this is just something some other companies made up. Sometimes I think they still believe that the majority of people that use their stuff are children, and it's like, why, why would children have Bluetooth headsets? Children have Bluetooth headsets. <laughs> Their parents get them up. Man, one of my cousins has just so much stuff that I'd never had as a kid, just from a computer perspective. Imagine having two consoles from the same generation. Where is this pointing to? I'm trying to get to it, but I can't find it. Is it just directly above here? One of these has radishes, that's why I want to get there. 
Or chop. There's... The, okay, this looks good. There's radish here. Yes, yes, this is what I want. Because I've been using them quite a bit. <laughs> the daughter keeps asking for a phone, you told her no, for what reason are you calling? I mean... I think it's it's less about who they're calling and more the fact that there are, there'd probably be people that have them already. And so it's just a, a bit of peer pressure slash just a social status thing. She's only seven. Yeah, but I, I mean, I just think back to the reasoning behind why I wanted one initially. And I was a bit, not not seven, but you know. For someone that was in high school at the time, a lot of high school kids didn't have them. And the whole the whole reasoning was just pretty much... It's just a social thing. I don't think I ever would have used it. It was more just a, haha, I have one. That's interesting. Okay, it's nothing. Yeah, I would ask the same question. Like, who are you going to call? <laughs> but I think these days more about browsing the internet and chatting to people. Might only be seven, but I think of some of my cousins that were seven and eight and were still talking to people. Wanting to talk to their friends on, like, Discord and stuff. Paula oh, needs to prove she's responsible. Because, you know, she's going to lose it. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Because, yeah. That's pretty easy to pick up. If, especially if the track record is poor on taking care of things. I've never broken a phone in my entire life. Not once. Every phone that I have retired, it's been because the battery just doesn't last anymore or I get a new phone. But every phone that I have has been taken care of. Meanwhile, <laughs> I know people. I know someone that went through five phones in one year and I'm like, how the, how the fuck do you function? Like... Are you telling me, like, almost every two months you're getting a new phone? In <laughs> not willing to spend the money if you forget the summer or let someone use it. And not get it back. I mean, that's a pretty scummy thing to do. If someone just takes a phone. Yeah, I mean, I started on a prepaid one. Just a, a cheap one. And then I won myself a smartphone. But had I not uh, done that, I would have been on prepaid phones for like a very long time. And it's not like prepaid phones are bad. It's just, you know, you can browse the internet on them. You can still message your friends. It's just you're not going to have, like, the fucking fashion accessory that some of the more expensive smartphones are. Because that's basically what they are at this point. Most people are lucky to use 10% of the features on a smartphone. I think as long as the phone can access the internet and has a passable camera, that's enough. Doesn't need to be more than that for most people.
We're nearly there. The only reason you would entertain it is to have a tracker on for her. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing is like, it's a safety thing as well. Which... Yeah, I mean... I don't know if it's still the case anymore, but like, I found it weird that... Schools, when I was in school, tried to ban... Cell phones, because it was just like... You realize that this is a way that if we're in an emergency, we can communicate, right? And get out of that emergency, right? Like, why are you trying to take this away from us? Hang on to it until the end of the day and give it back? Like, what's that shit? I mean, understandably, they don't want them pulled out in class, but there's a simple solution to that. It's just, like, don't let people pull it out in class. But confiscating it and then being like, yep, your safety mechanism is gone. Don't bring it back to school. Like, you know, sending home written notices saying don't bring your cell phone to school. Such a weird thing. Then again, the principal I had in high school wasn't exactly the, uh, the most worldly person. So you gotta watch her and she can't wear it in case it goes off. What? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, hang on. Uh, it's over here. Yeah, okay. I went a little too far. I mean, that that's just living in a different world compared to Australia. <laughs> the rules are different here. Because I guess we don't have the same concerns. So the rationale is because if they're hiding, it'll give away the location. If it goes off. But the, it's kind of like... I feel like the majority of the cases it would... Wouldn't... I mean, I don't know. Like, we don't get... We don't get the same danger situations here. But, like... I feel like it would do... It wouldn't... It wouldn't do as much harm, if that makes sense. Like, the, am the amount of times it would do more harm than good, I feel like, wouldn't be as high as they think. I don't know. Okay, I need to look out. It's somewhere along here. I suppose the alternative you can get is, like, get one of those tags and put them on a bag or something. But it's not the same as, like, having a line of communication. I mean, I can understand it to some degree, but... I don't know. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to get, like, to use this as a jump-off point, so... Oh shit, that's not good. 
the wall. I thought I could. Ooh, 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 that's bad timing. What is going on here? How am I missing? I don't know. It's, I guess this this is hard to... To talk about because it's like... I think that the definition of like a... Uh, if something, someone bad comes into the school is very different here in Australia. And I guess I'm thinking from the point of view where it's like... A, it's more of a stranger danger situation. But that's not the case, and I, I can kind of understand why they wouldn't want to give up a hiding location. Accidentally. I can't believe I accidentally found- unless this is- no, but- Yeah, this is another one, because I was gonna glide across so that I don't have to climb. This was pure accident. But I'll take it. I should, ooh, I should probably go make stamina food. But I guess what some watches you don't even have to talk into. Like, you just tap and it'll... You can get it to send, like, a preset message. Like, SOS. It's built into most of them. I just don't see why you would... I just don't see why you wouldn't want that. I don't know. I think I might just not be well versed enough in this. Because it's, it's just uh, something, honestly, that just doesn't pop into the mind of Australians. But the Korok thing was going off, but it's not up here. Where is it? What? But yeah, I mean, if you enforce the, like, okay, when you go to the movies here, before you, before the movie starts, there's something that says put your phones on silent. Like, surely they could do something where, you know, put your blah blah blahs on silent at the start of every every class or something. You know? I just feel, uh, for me, when it comes to stuff like that, it's just, I feel like there's more to lose in not using technology sometimes, just because something could go wrong. It's like, I don't see it as a valid reason. It's like, oh no, I'm not going to drive my car because I might get into a car accident. It's, it's just, it just seems like a really weird backwards logic as to, to have a reason to not use something. When, you know, the, the obvious solution is just be, you know, practice safety. Do whatever you need to do to be safe when using this thing, as opposed to not using it. Like, it's weird. So, uh, I'm a bit dumbfounded on that one. But, I, yeah, I guess because I just don't... I don't live in that same world, I guess.
Yeah, I guess that's the other thing, is like, kids have electronics these days, it's, it's just a thing. Where's the stone? Oh, that's why I couldn't see. But I'm still I'm still surprised I didn't get this one. This one I don't know how I, I missed it. But okay. There's a waste of money to buy the lock and she can't even use it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But I mean, can use it outside of school at least. Whilst I know it doesn't serve the original purpose you had it for, at least it's still... It can serve its purpose outside of it. Yeah, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say on, on it. Beyond man, I just I just don't get it. I, I guess I ca I can't get it because it's just like those concerns just aren't a thing. Like the stranger danger we got taught of was just you know people in vans, but nothing beyond that. That was it. That's like the worst situation we had to prepare for as children. Just that. Okay, so, uh, on the way to Rito, is there anything I can grab? Ah! Oh! Oh, what's this? That's all you were taught as kids, too. Yeah, man. It's just different times, I guess. I mean, yeah, here it's still it's still not it's still the same as it is, like I guess I'm saying it's still the same as it is. Like for kids these days. They they don't learn anything beyond the van example. It just hasn't gone any further than that. Although mind you, they have gotten like a bit more weirder with drugs for some reason, like we got very minimal stuff. When it came to drugs, like just, you know, the very typical stuff, but now they seem to be going more heavy on it. Vape? Oh, no, it's not drugs, but vaping in particular has been something that's, like, been a hot topic here. Do they have dare there? Uh, we have dare and it's, uh, it's a beverage, so I don't think we're talking about the same thing. <laughs> just the way you wrote it, I just thought, hmm, yeah, I want some chocolate milk, maybe some, some coffee, iced coffee. But no. Like, that's what Dare here is in Australia. It's, it's a brand of, uh, beverage. What is Dare, anyway? Drug abuse resistance education. I'm sure there's something in our curriculum that's not called that, but yeah, there is, like, a... There is some formal stuff that they do in schools. Oh, 
Oh. What the f Huh? This is another one- this is another one of these times where, like, I'm talking about something and then, like, the universe... Is this for real? Yeah, no shit. I, like, I was just talking about vaping just now, how there's, like, a big hot topic. Um, recreational vaping is going to get banned in Australia. Because of, uh, the epidemic. No shit. Alright, well. There you go. Yeah, I just saw, like, the thing pop up on my phone. Like, Apple News. It's just, yeah. It... They're going to ban recreational vaping because it, it's worse than smoking from the studies they've done here in Australia. And, uh, like, the way it's marketed, it's marketed as the healthier alternative, and it's not. So they're just like, nah, it's, uh, causing... It's causing kids to believe that they can do s vaping and be safe, and that's not good. So they're just, like, going hardline on it. I mean, I don't know- I don't know much about it, but, like, some of the studies that have come out... ...just saying the, the effect it has on lungs is- is accelerated... ...in some cases. Okay, and then we head this way. But yeah, that's- that's, uh, hmm. I wonder what that's gonna do. Well, like, a... okay, I like tech companies. <laughs> they, you know, they go before governments and say, you know, they don't record conversations or listen in. But come, come on. I was talking about vaping, like being a hot topic here, and then like not even five minutes later, it pops up on my phone. Steve Jobs is clearly listening. They heard me, yeah. I know. Wait, where's the entry? Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, I know I know quite a bunch of people that vape as well. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. But yeah, the whole thing is just, like, I guess the way it's marketed that it's, like, less harmful when it's not. And just, I guess it's, it's more accessible in the sense of, like, you know... Cigarettes fucking smell like ass. They do. Or as in vapes, they have stuff like flavors and the, you know, there are accessible flavors. If you hear something being flavored like grape or strawberry or something like that, you're more inclined to try it compared to say, it's a cigarette. Oh, this smells like shit. You know, there's at least there's a little bit of like hesitation because you might have something that doesn't smell that good, whereas in that, it's just like... Or taste that good. I don't know how it tastes, I've never smoked. But... Compared to something where it's just like, oh yeah, this has like this... This flavor to it. I don't know. I can see that point. Okay. Uh, let's cook some stamina food. And I need cold resist. Oh yeah, the Goron Spice, dude. Yes, there you go. Hooray.
Oh, trades rice for growing spice, which eh, that's fine. Okay. Um. It's just with, the, with those kind of things, I'm a little torn because it's like, on the one hand, I understand like how messed up it is on the kids' side, but on the other hand, it's like, well, I mean, man, when it comes to adults, even even if it it's something that's technically bad for them, it's like I guess it's in their right to be able to do it. It's like you know, drinking is ultimately bad, but we're not banning that. So, it's... It's a tricky thing. I've been around people who smoke your whole life and never like the smell of it. Vaping is like smoking. Even if it smells good, you still have it in your head. It's gross. Yeah, it, it like, circumstances are different, and... I guess that's the thing, is like, if you have an upbringing where you're around a lot of people who smoke and you just don't enjoy... You just have that burned into your head, you're less likely to try it. But let's say, you know, someone that didn't have that, and then it's a peer pressure thing. And it's just like, oh, it's this thing that, that hey, it tastes alright. Like, you'll try it once and probably try it again, versus like, you know, you try it and it's just absolutely disgusting. And you're like, no, never doing that again. Um, I need attack. But yeah, I, I guess the, the part that I'm kind of, uh, like, conflicted on is just... <sighs> Whenever things are done for the sake of children, and it kind of messes up, like, an adult's freedom, it, it sucks. And this comes from a place where, like, in Australia, video games were banned. Certain video games were censored or banned just because it was like, well, what happens if a child gets their hand onto it? It's like, well... How about the parents of that child take an active interest in what said child is doing? It was that kind of thing. It was just... And I guess it's the same with vaping, but... I guess with this, there's like a health aspect to it. And it's like, yeah, it also applies to adults. They probably shouldn't do it either. But it's just one of those things. They're, they're adults and it's just... Well, drinking does the same thing. Don't we have ratings on games? That's the thing, we do. So they used to, it used to go up to MA15, so there was like... G... PG, which is like, you know, 13, and then... It's just parental guidance, but of course kids can still play it. M was just like, hey listen, this is mature. We recommend 15, but, you know, of course they can still play it. They can still buy it. MA was just like... MA was hardline, if you're under 15, you can't buy this. So that was MA. So you would think it's just, okay, so surely it's covered. It wasn't. They, they thought, no, well, what if a child gets their hands on an MA game? Not if, not if they buy it, mind you. What if they get their hands on it? It was the concept of a child getting their hands on the game. That's what the whole thing was. We just shouldn't allow it in the country. That was, like, the argument. So... I think it was like a good 10 years where there was a push to have uh, a rating higher than that, 18 plus. So then it could be like, all right, well, we don't want our game censored just because kids might get their hands on it. So give us a rating where it's like, you know, it's 18 or older and you can't display it on the shelf. You can only buy it from digital storefronts. And that's what we got. And it's fixed it for the most part, but every now and then they'll they'll do something where it's like, oh, sorry, this has a reference to drugs or sex, and what if a child gets their hand on it? <laughs> it, it just angers me so much because it's just it's such a stupid thing. It's like, what if what if a child gets behind the wheel of a car? Are we going to ban cars? Or how about you know I don't know. Just, at the end of the day, uh, some onus has to fall on the parent.
Anyway, I got a bunch of attack stuff, and I'm gonna... ...get some cold resist now. Uh, we got warm Safina now, so that's good. It, it sucks, yeah. I said Safina, Safina. But, yeah, like... There were so many games that just got banned or just censored to the point where... They just sucked. Like, Left 4 Dead 2, that game... I think that was, that was the tipping point. Where people just got sick of that shit and started really pushing for the laws to change. Because it was a zombie game. And they were like, well, this game is too violent. What if a child plays this game? Sorry, it's banned. Like, not even, not even censored. Valve, you can't release this game. And then Valve, you know, they, they made a version where it, where it was just completely dumbed down from violence. And that's what they sold here in Australia. And yeah, that was like, uh, that was not good. <laughs> Use the VPN to buy the American version, because, yeah. That's too strict. And yeah, that's that's the kind of thing where... Oh no, I can't carry anymore. It's a fine line. It's like changing things for the sake of children. It's either that it's something that only affects children, which is fair enough. But then it, there's things that are done where it's like... We're gonna hinder what an adult can freely do. That is within reason, like it's within reason, just because a child might happen to accidentally, not accidentally, but you know, just because a child might come upon it, we should not allow adults to do it, even though it's perfectly reasonable for an adult to do it. Like that, that shit is just, it's horrible. If an adult wants to play, it should be able to. Exactly. And I guess that's that's with this vaping thing where there's a bit of that at the moment. It's just like... Yeah. Like, it's one of these things where there's a bit of a problem with kids and vaping right now. And it's just... The ban is something that will address that, but it'll also just stop adults who are within their rights to... Want to vape. Even though it's not good for them, it's really bad, and, you know, just... I guess the ban is just, like, they'll go back to cigarettes. Whatever. But it's still a thing where, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a tricky thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Bison. Oh, no, I need to go back to Tarrytown. Uh... Okay, well, let me climb up here first. I gotta continue Tarrytown. Um, let me go up here first. Get the Korok at the top of this. The, the early 2000s were not fun for Australians, let me tell you. Like, in terms of gaming, the stuff that we had to deal with. So, you know, games releasing anywhere between six months to a year later. Sometimes not at all. That was one. Sometimes games, they had planned to be released, but then they'd either be censored or stopped from being released. Because, heaven forbid, a child get their hands on it. And finally, games that were online, we never had dedicated servers, really, so we would play with a really bad ping. So. I was asked a while ago if I, if I missed the early 2000s, and I do to some degree. 
there are things from there that I, I wish were back, but then stuff like that, it's like, no, you know what? I think we're in a better place at the moment compared to that. Like, games all release around the world roughly the same time. It's like, maybe there's a day. Do we have Call of Duty here? We do! That's the messed up thing, was like, it was super selective. It was just, it was weird. Certain things were being allowed and other things weren't. So, Left 4 Dead was being blocked, but then Call of Duty wasn't. And then there were other zombie games that weren't. Or like if a game had a sex scene in it or something, it'd just be like, nope, not allowed. What if a child sees the sex scene? Oh, but like, you know, just... Shooters are okay. Violence is okay. All right. Heaven forbid a child sees a penis or a boob. It's okay. Call of Duty is, is valid. It, it's fine. Listen. <laughs> the people that made those decisions were boomers. I'm just saying. I can't think of one time in my life where, like, a decision that a boomer has made has, like, been positive for me in any way. Like, just looking after themselves, pretty much. Okay, hold on. Let's not- let's not accidentally back off the edge here. Let me find a spot where I can actually shoot this thing. It's- it's no longer a thing anymore. The last time this happened, there was for a game called RimWorld, and it's one of these games where you, you are- it's just a simulator. So, you know, you get an environment, and you have a colony, and then you run a scenario on it. But the reason it got banned was because it had references to drugs, and it, again, the same rationale was like, oh, we don't want children having references to, like, using drugs just so casually and haphazardly and it's just like this game is rated for adults if a child has their hands on it it is the parents fault that the child has their hands on it stop it we decided this by law a long time ago <laughs> the decision got undone thankfully but you know for a while that game was banned in australia and this was pretty recently okay If the, play the parents play it, if the parents say the kid's allowed to play it, it's on the parents, exactly. Or if the child finds a way to acquire said game and plays it behind the parents back, it's the parents fault. Because they're not taking an active interest in what their child is doing. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> Alright, hold on, there's one here. Before I, before I do this, where is it? It's this one here? Hang on. This one here. Have I seen Sword Art Online? Ah, uh, I did. I don't think I've seen all of it, but I, I did. I think the thing that irked me about that show was just... Um... Like, I forgot her name, but, you know, the, the lead female character in that show... They, they wrote her- they wrote her to be pretty strong and cool, and then she just becomes like... Yeah, Asuna. She becomes like, you know, helpless and... Oh, you're like the princess in the castle now, okay. When it did that, I just, I don't know, I lost interest in it. I was just perplexed why they, they've built so much 
character development and then it just kind of gets thrown away. It's just, oh, okay. Now she's just a damsel in distress now. All right. And then later, they have that character, Alice, which, yeah, I don't know. Was it Alice? I can't remember her name. It doesn't matter. I lost... You can tell how much interest I lost in it, because the names just didn't stick with me. It was Alice, alright, yeah. It was a little bit of wasted potential. I'm enjoying my One Piece so far. Okay. Uh, I'm going back to the town because it's safe in the town for me to just stand there. But now... Okay. We're going to look at each... This is going to suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're going to look at each area and I'm going to pick Three-ish spots where I feel like I haven't been... Haven't seen One Piece. It's so long. Yeah, I guess that's that's what always put me off by it. it. Was just because, oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's still going. I'll watch it when it's done. And I said that like maybe seven years ago. It's still going. But my brother convinced me, he was like, yeah, just, just get into it, it's fine. Is it really good? Yeah, I mean, I think at the start it was a bit harder for me to gra grab it. But then it, it gets better, like as they introduce more and more characters, it's, it's good. I like it. And it, it, it is funny. It does make me laugh. But it's just one of those things that I'm just slowly going through. Like, I'm not watching it daily or anything. It's just every now and then I'll be like, alright, I'll just... I want to relax for a few hours. I'll watch a few episodes of it. And so I've been doing that since the start of the year, pretty much. And I think I'm like at episode... 400... I can't remember. Like 400-ish. Around there. There's a post you want to go in. It's top 100 anime. And after you... Finish you scratch off that anime. Oh, that's a cool idea. <laughs> Didn't really get any quests from here. What's the matter? No offense, but it's not your concern. That cursed monster. I think it's time now to start, since I'm here, to start setting up the quests for this area. What's wrong? Never mind, forget it. Oh, I think I need to talk to their chief first. Ah, oh, visitor, welcome to... Oh, oh. That object on your hip, could it be a Sheikah? Slate, forgive me, where are my manners? I'm Kennelly, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah Slate on your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion, like Master Ravali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Vermito. Meadow. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Now forgive me, champion descendant. If you would listen to this old man's request, 
you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Varmito. Meadow. I keep saying Mito. The giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to more of the headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to any reason. Teba and Hearth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well and Hearth was injured. That's the injury. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop. Okay. I think if I didn't stream, <laughs> that's what I'd probably be doing is like, just, because I didn't really get into anime that much until, I'd say my late-ish 20s, so, yeah. If I wasn't streaming, I'd be doing more of that. That's the poster. Interesting. Oh, see, now I can see, like, some of these if they've made it. What have I seen out of this? One Punch Man is top 100. And that hasn't been on for that long. Yeah, One Piece is the... Okay. Yeah, I mean, Cowboy Bebo is expected to be the... I've seen Helsing. I have not seen many of these. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Looking for hang on. Oh, I was like, where's Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball is towards the bottom. Okay, it's fine. It's like I hadn't seen it appear in the list yet. I was gonna say. Yeah, JoJo's towards the bottom as well. This is... This is a good list. It's cool. Yeah, that's, that's a good find. Cheers. You have to sell that shirt off your back to afford staying at the inn here. This place is the worst. No. Not that expensive. No, I mean, it's a pretty s simple poster. It's cool. But I mean... Ugh, like... I, some of these are very long. The amount of watch hours behind getting all of these done, man. Especially stuff like if if you're talking about the original run of Dragon Ball, and not Kai. Jeez, that oh man. I don't think I could watch that again as an adult. It's just as a kid because I was into it, but as an adult, some of some of the sagas were just so painful. <laughs> Can't scratch off ones that are still going. There's a few that are still going, yeah. There's quite a few that are still going. Okay. Soup ladle. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is the Warbler's Nest thing. I know I'm kinda... Where's the shop here? There's a shop, isn't there? That's what I'm looking for. Probably one more down. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Oof, I am out of money. Oh! 
567 pieces of meat. I could sell it and, you know, have enough money to do what I want, but I think it's funnier not to. I don't want to sell gems too much, because they're used in upgrading, but... I think if I sell a few here and there, it shouldn't be too bad. Ah. But I mean, another one you can't really do is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure either, because that's still going from a manga perspective. And the anime is just not caught up to it. And it won't be for like a very long time. I mean, I guess you could watch the... the... Because the Prime universe is wrapped up. But it's cool, it's something you can have for ages, and then eventually when things wrap up, it's just, well, you can finally get it off that list. I forget which one I had to talk to. The recital. Eventually, yeah. I mean, isn't One Piece supposed to be heading towards a finale now as well? Follow me, I'll tell you a story. Okay, here we go. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. <laughs> if you follow me. <laughs> but I have to because... Here's the thing. I have to because I, I'm pretty sure she's the one that gives the quest for a shrine, so it's just like, as as painful as it, this is to follow this child, it's still something I have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> Hurry up! Yes! Me too. Once upon a time, me, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing. Northwest suddenly saw a huge snow white birdie with wings. Okay. What was it? Oh, but that's not the story I want. No, 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 it's the recital that... She, she gives you two shrines now? It's already... it's already done. A shrine? Okay. Alright, well... sure. Okay. You sure look energetic, aren't you cold? Are you staying in Rito village? Yes. Nice to meet a fellow admirer. I like the simple nature of this village, although I'm starting to regret choosing it as a honeymoon destination. It's really cold here, and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining non-stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Oh man, if this doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need some baked apples to make my wife happy, but I don't have any flint. Excuse me, you gave me a hundred for a piece of flint? That's pretty good. Okay. Oh man, my wife will divorce me if I don't get her an apple. That's, that's the tipping point. The apple is the tipping point. <laughs> huh? 
I'm not rating these because it's just... I don't know. I, I find them mildly interesting. Have I walked past... Don't they have a store? Don't they have a store? Where you can buy ingredients to cook? I swear they did. I've either walked past it multiple times, or uh, it doesn't exist at all, and I imagined that. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? <laughs> you are basically naked! That's close enough, don't make me call someone. <laughs> That's the first time I've gotten that. Hey buddy, I'm guessing you caught wind of that monster circling around our village. I suppose I should get you up to speed on what went down. Please do. Here goes. You see this wound here on my wing? I got shot by that thing in the sky. Divine Beast Farmado. Legend has it that the monster was once protector of this village. But those days are long gone. As soon as Teba and I approached that thing, it just shot at us out of nowhere. We tried to fight back, but I was too slow and got hit. Thankfully, Teba caught me while I was falling from the sky. We had no choice but to retreat. When I think about what would have happened had Teba not been there, still gives me goosebumps. You planning to find Teba? He'll tell you everything, yeah. I mean, it... Dude's at the, the training ground. That's... I don't think I have that bow. Yeah, there you go. Well, you are naked. You're pretty energetic despite the cold here. <laughs> uh, 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 does this classify as naked? I'm just wearing shorts. Like, it's not nudity. Like, these shorts are pretty well covered. I'm wearing a belt. <laughs> the flight range. Okay. Where's your shirt? I didn't realize that this village was that kind of honeymoon resort. <laughs> oh, the baked apple. I wish I could discard it. Did I imagine a shop here, or am I am I losing my mind? Okay, seeing at Warbler's next. Okay. Yeah, so this is that's where the quest is lined up. Wow, I can't believe I invented a shop in my head where they sell food. Goods. No, it's here. What? Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> this is what I, this is what I, what I was looking for. Did I just walk past it multiple times? Okay, that's that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> People are gonna internally s uh, scream. How did I miss it? Because I even came here and talked to this dude. How did I miss that spot? What is wrong with me? Okay. It's late. It's not that late, but admittedly, I've had a long day. Okay. <sighs> oh, I'm not going to enjoy this. 
Okay, so this is the process I'm going to follow. I'm going to pick three spots in the Hebra Mountains where I feel like... Oh, you know what? I need to make markers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, what am I going to get rid of? I need to get rid of some stuff, so then... Okay, you know what? That... Oops. That can go. I'm going to get rid of some of these. So I, I need stamps. I don't have any stamps. So let's just get rid of some stamps. Because we're only allowed a hundred. Um, see, this is a Stalnox. I don't care about that. Okay. Uh, I feel like the Talus are important. These are... What is this? Well, I walked up to it, so that defeats the purpose of it. I just need, I don't know, like 20 or so markers. That's all. What's this? Okay. Well, I've walked to that one. Delete it. Another Hinox. Walk to it. Delete it. It's just defeating the purpose of what, it, what I use these for. There's another one. Delete it. Delete it. That one hasn't been... Okay, so that one can stay. That one can stay. Why'd I put one here? Well, it doesn't matter. It's gone now. It can be removed. Star? Oh, this is a good ingredient spot. Keep that. I've just put them together because I know that that just signifies good ingredient spot. Get rid of that. Definitely get rid of that. That's a, that's a talus. I don't know why I put that in. Edit stamp. That is a talus. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, this is a Stalnox. Let me get rid of the Stalnoxes. Don't care about them. Okay. That's <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh... Oh, man. I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'll use shields to indicate where I should go. This one is unlikely because there's a Korok nearby. And I feel like... Because the other thing to look at is like... How many other lines are near here? There's like a whole bunch of squiggles here. So I feel like that one is, is unlikely. This is going to take half an hour. Never assume... No, but I, I guess I, I have to pick high target area. Like... Areas where I feel like would be high value. See, here, for example, this is more high value because you can see I've kind of done that. So it's possible that is that is a higher possibility here. I think this is a higher possibility because here I've gone there twice. I think this I think this is a spot. So let's mark one. I think that's a good spot. Um, it also, it's it's a shelf. That's the other thing. Like, ones that are like this, it's it's rare. So we're going with the ones that there's like a likelihood it's going to happen. Um, potentially here. That's potential another spot. That, that because there's like a spot here. In here. This this seems okay. This is I know this area here, it's not this. Because that there's a Lionel there and there's a Hinox. It's it's not it's not anything along this edge. I know this I know this for sure. I 
has to be something between areas. Um, this is fine. That shouldn't be anything. Uh, I don't know, it'll be a third spot. That's more of a down area, and here, I've, I've been here twice, if not three times. So I doubt it would be that. Let's have a look. Uh, I remember this cliff area, like this, I came here twice. And I turned around. Hang on. So hard to do. Uh, what is this? Maybe. That seems wide. And that that seems big enough. Okay. Don't really see anything around here. Okay, there. That's a good one. Uh. Here. Yeah, look at look at this. Okay, this is this is a high this one's I think the highest priority. So I'm gonna go with uh This is this is a big area here. Look at this. Yeah. I would I think there's one here. This spot like that is a very large chunk of map. Well the pr the problem with this part was when I got up to this area. Um I was running out of cold resist. Okay, so this, yeah. And here as well, like... If I follow this... These two are pretty large chunks. Um... I'd say that's good for the mountains. Let's just roll with that for now and see how we go. Because I said three, so I picked three near here. And then I have... I guess three in the mountains, so... Okay. What about here? That's a Lionel, so that's no go. I know this already. Uh... Is there any landmark? Because there are, there are gaps here, but this was like a... Okay. I think what I can do... Just because it's easy enough to do. Simple peace of mind is just ride the horse through this middle area like this. So I'll put down a marker. This is a quick one. Let's just ride the horse up that way. Um, what else? I mean, this is there's two Lionels here, that's the thing. This is why this area is big. And I not to waste my time here, in this northern area, because there's two Lionels. Uh, here... I, I, it looks doubtful. This just looks like it's a path to here. Uh, ooh. That might be one. That's a good one. That's, that's see there. That, I would be willing to believe there's one. What else? Um, eh, there's a Korok here. Unlikely. Um, maybe here. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Because it's in the vicinity. So here, and here. And I think Let's just roll with this for now. That'll cover this northern corner of the map. For now. So this is like the first sweep.
and we'll see how many we find. If we if we find zero, I'm going to accept that for now. <laughs> as as hard as that might be to believe. I think one other thing I'll do. I might drop down onto here and just do this again. One last time is just because I think walking up the edge of this. You see, there's like, there's a bit of a gap here. Mm -hmm. I'll walk up the canyon one more time, because you never know. That, that canyon has a whole bunch of them, and ugh, I'm just paranoid. But then the next spot, you know, I'll walk through the canyon, and then I'll come here, and I'll plan more. So, it's effectively, the I do a lap, and then come back down. Okay, let's get started. This is gonna suck, but... Tis what it is. Okay, where is my first spot that I'm going to? It's like to the left. Well, we'll see how well this goes. If I don't find anything, I'll be sad. If I find... One... I, I expect to find one. Because... Up here. This is where I expect to find one, to be honest. Because that, that is that is a massive area. These two here. Like, one or two. That's all I'm expecting to find. The others are kind of like... Uh, I, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything there. But that that spot in particular, I think, I think we're going to find something there. But yeah, at that point I was running out of cold resist food, so I had to pick my battle. But now I, I have more, so it'll be fine. Okay. Thorok Hunt. these things. Well, it's a good thing I don't have to do shrines anymore, except the two, which I think are already just worthy ones. I don't really need octo balloons anymore. I used to watch My Hero Academia, but it's, it's one of these ones that I, I have to be in the mood to watch. Because there's a trope in anime that I just... I really have to want to watch it to watch it, and that's like when it's set around high schoolers. I do like it, but sometimes it's just like the the high school drama vibes. It's just like I'm not in the mood for it. Where did I stop? Uh, I'm trying to think. What was the last thing I saw? Big shit went down and that guy lost his powers. The guy that has like a very simple face. I'm so bad at names. Why am I bad with names? <laughs> no, not All Might. All Might lost his powers a while ago. It's, it's the guy that um, was supposed to inherit but then, you know, he changed his mind. What is his name? I'll look it up. Oh, these are terrible thumbnails. <laughs> I 
Oh, here's a better page. Mirio. That's his name. There's a whole saga with Mirio being introduced and then... Yeah. Well, did he lose his powers? I don't know. Like, something happened to him. I'd have to refresh my memory, but... Keep watching. I have to be in the mood, because sometimes I'm just not in the mood for... Ugh, just the high school trope. That's all. You know, when that when it gets serious, it's it's great. But then there's just quite a few episodes where it's just like the high school trip, and sometimes I'll watch it, it'll it'll be fine. But then other times I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm not in the mood for high school. It's just teen drama. The one I do want to catch up on is, uh, Demon Slayer. That sort of has, like, sometimes a high school trope vibe, but it's not as strong. The new season is coming out soon. Yeah, that's exactly why. I wanna catch up. Cause I I went to see um the train movie with my brothers. It was good. But I, I didn't watch I didn't watch too much beyond that. I, I think I saw a, a bit more after that, but I need to catch up. You got pissed at what, the train movie? You paid to see the movie and that was in season two. Yeah, I mean, the movie is like, an abridged version of it, and it's more concise. It's just one of those things, it's just you, uh... I guess you got to experience it before they got around to it. And then some stuff got recontextualized a little. I thought it was fine. Like, it wasn't a one-for-one, one completely. Or should I hit, hit resistance? Do I watch double sub? Uh, sub. It's rare that I will watch a, a dub. I mean, no offense to, like, the voice actors. I'm sure they do their best, but it's just... Sometimes the localization just isn't great. They'll just choose to change it up too much. Okay, there's nothing here, there's a camp here. Oh shit. Spear the Um, Man, it's been a while since I've died. If you're working, you do dub because you can listen, but you prefer sub, but you need time to sit and watch so you can read. Yeah, that makes sense. 
That makes sense. Oh, good. It put me back five minutes from where I was. I love the autosave feature, how when I want it to keep track of where I am, it doesn't do it, but then when an enemy shoots me and kills me in an inconvenient spot, it just puts me right back next to that enemy. Most of the pens. There are some things where dubs are, are decent, like Cowboy Bebop's dub is, is an example. In Dragon Ball for the longest time, I could only watch the dub because I guess that's what I was used to. But then I, I got used to subs a bit more. And because of Dragon so now it's like it's funny. I, I associate the Japanese voice actors more and <laughs> the abridged series more than the uh, the official one. Man, the Abridged series is great. I just... I understand why they moved on, but I wish they would have continued. <laughs> Do I remember the first anime I watched in sub? Yeah, Dragon Ball. Because episodes were delayed here in Australia and played in an erratic order. When they aired the Android Saga, for example, they got up to a particular point and just erratically decided to start again and just go, okay, no, we're going back two sagas now. So, uh, my cousins went to America and El Salvador and they recorded it. So I was watching Dragon Ball in Spanish for a bit because they were ahead. And then, um... The movies didn't really come out in Australia, so I watched the movies in Japanese. So, I- yeah, because they were cool. Some of the villains from those movies were pretty neat. Um, trying to think beyond that, though. I think Ghost in the Shell, like, was in a very early memory as well, because they used to air that, uh, on this TV station. That just, it, it was all foreign films and, you know, shows, so. Ghost in the Shell was something they, they aired pretty often. I, know, I, I guess this is just... To stop me from thinking there's anything here. Yeah, I mean, I remember bits and pieces of it. It's something I should probably rewatch, to be honest. Okay, well, this was a uh, no go. Okay, so now we head down there. Which is pretty much just rolling around here. Okay, it would have gone off. Did 
So yeah, what about you? What was the, uh, the first sub anime you experienced? I think the moment I, I started taking it seriously was when I got more into it and just saw the... Just how different it was and... I guess because the censorship that, uh... That they would try to do here for certain shows. It's particularly Dragon Ball, like instead of talking about death and killing people, it was like, I'm gonna send you to the next dimension. It was such a stupid thing and, you know, you couldn't show it. L. So they called it Hiffle. Some of the censorships are funny. Or you'd see one of the characters like clearly destroy a plane. And then you'd hear a voice say, oh no, they're okay, they used their parachutes. Well, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> Pre-tier was your first? I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, admittedly, I haven't seen as much as some. Okay, well, this was a no-go as well. This sort of well, this would have caught it though. Pre tier is girly. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, look, it's one of those things where on my own wouldn't watch it, but if someone was that interested in it, wanted to share that experience with me, I'd check it out. I'm not going to be like, ew, girly, I don't want to spend time with you. <laughs> you want to watch girly stuff? Nah, we only watch ma we only watch manly stuff here. What do you mean, girly stuff? <laughs> Fuck, you want to watch that for? <laughs> it was okay, it's only like 13 episodes. Ah, gotcha. Oh. Why do they do that? It's just... I think... This is one thing that I'm hoping they're improving, is just the sense of discovery in this game. It's like, ooh, that looks like some... That's a hidden secret. Oh, it's just another stone behind the wall of stones. Okay. Just over time, you just get conditioned to not bother. Because <laughs> it's just... It's a disappointment every time. Okay, where am I going? So I'm going up that way. And Sailor Moon, you watched and sub because they didn't have English here at the time. Ah. I never watched Sailor Moon. But that being said, I, a few times I did catch Card Captor Sakura because there was no other cartoons on, and it was alright. I don't remember it, I was young at the time, but yeah, that was on TV. The last season was Japanese for the longest amount of time. Well, there you go. That's why I guess I started getting into to sub stuff because it was the wait was just way too long. It still is to some degree. Especially now, you know, internet, it's just, you, if you're getting into something, you start seeing spoilers, because there are people out there that, of course, will watch the, uh, 
the Japanese versions because, hey, they're up to date and sooner. You start seeing content trickle and it's just like, nah, just go to the, go, just, just watch the sub. It's better. And then when you see just, oh, no, like, sometimes the localization is not good. Sometimes they decide to change things for some weird reason. I mean, I noticed these areas here, so I, on the way, I guess we can look here, but I don't believe there's anything here. Honestly, I think our best bet is that the spots that I'd mark differently, they they look like a winner. I almost thought I was about to eat my words there, because that looked like a Korok. It wasn't. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. That, to me, wow, I thought that was a Korok there. It's probably just more stones behind the stones. Well... Yeah, I mean... I'd be shocked if there wasn't anything there. There's all. I don't think I'm going to hit my goal in terms of how many I want to find. This is where I have to end up for the quest, but suppose I could pop in. It would save me a little time. Wait, I thought. Aren't they meant to be here? Well, there's arrows this time, but... Is it pointing me in this direction? Even the music is all sad and... ...reflective here. This is very sad music. It's just anything that's a music box. Oh, man. Like uh, Lost Innocence, I guess, is what you would describe it as. It is my hope that I can get to the point where I'm fighting the Divine Beasts in the next couple of days. Like, 
Uh, if I'm lucky, not tomorrow. Day is it today? It's Wednesday, so I mean, yeah, might have to do something this weekend. If it's looking bad, <laughs> we'll see. If I don't find anything here, well, all right, what am I, what was the count now? 874, yeah, it's still, ugh, it's still 26. It's still 26. It's not, it's not good. But, oh well. I could beat the game and go look for them. But that... <sighs> That's not in the spirit of what I wanted to do. The whole thing was just find everything and be like, yeah, look, I did all the shrines. And I did all the Koroks, and it was just like this the entirety of the way through. <sighs> it's a good thing I saved. Now I won't, I won't lose, uh, much progress. I'm pretty much right here. Yeah, this is fine. Wow, that was, uh... Okay, this time I'm going under the damn thing. Uh, this is promising. It's on the way there. This is promising. This is promising. There are Koroks inside those. I need to die a hundred more times to get closer to your number. I mean, it'll happen when I'm fighting some of the later bosses. There's, there's no Korok here. Would've gone off already. Particularly... stuff around the, uh... Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff I'm not gonna enjoy. Hmm, let's just let's keep walking, we'll see. Should probably climb up here, because there is a lizard there and I just don't want to deal with that. I think it's a silver one anyway. I guess, hang on, let's turn around. I mean, that's more or less what I'm looking for, it's just something... Something that I can see. Where it's obvious, yes. Okay, we'll start, we'll not skip anything. Is 
just didn't want to deal with the lizard. Okay, where am I? Alright, so I'm pretty much here. Let's look around. Okay, uh, I'll start with higher ground just here, because I don't think I need to go back that way anymore, so let's just look here first. That could be... Ah, is that, is that, is that one? No. What is it? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why is it rocks? Behind more rocks. They really couldn't think of something else. <laughs> the fool you, I, I guess. Right, turn. I think by now, if there was something up here, I would have... I would have probably come across it. Okay, now, down here. I think I've already checked above. So there's a Korok here, so I, I, I doubt there's anything else here. <laughs> Alright. Where? Where? I don't see it. Is that above me? Well, it shows what I know. I mean, I expected to find at least one up here. Just, I guess not in this spot, but you know what? I'll take it. The last few spots have been failures. <laughs> I got nothing out of it. Okay, where is it? Ah, uh, no? Okay, it's nothing. What? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. I probably flew past it and didn't turn around and see it. Yeah, ha ha! Finally. <laughs> After like 20 minutes, half an hour. Jeez. 
Okay, uh... I mean, the bottom is definitely not underneath because the, the talus is there. I'd be shocked if it was. I've walked on top of that thing. And I've done here. Yeah, it's unlikely there's anything else here. Just in case, I'll do this. <laughs> Just go past it. Okay. Oh, man. I mean, I'm a bit happier with this now. That looks that looks better than what it was before. And then it's just whatever's here, this little spot here, which we'll see. Those were the biggest gaps in this area, so the others were a flop. But I don't, I don't want to pet. I don't want like there's more spots I can look for. I know this, but I don't want to spend practically the same amount of time I did. It's just all right. Pick obvious spots. I have found... I have found one now, at least, so... That's fine. But not spend too much time. Uh, which way? That way. Okay. So it's just to those trees and back. I get the feeling... There's nothing, just because this looks very... That was quick. Wow, that... That was a quick shot. Thought I was gonna make it out of there. Ah, uh, please don't put me further back. Ugh. Okay. You know what? That works for me. That works for me. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. The mark, the Korok thing did not go off when I was there. So it's, there's nothing there at the end. That's fine. But it shows that I went to the edge there. Uh, what else? I guess a little bit, just a little bit above me. And that should that should do cuz this this over here doesn't look like it's anything i doubt it's anything okay so now i'm going to the tabantha uh stable and i'm going to ride the horse so we'll just head there it's, it's, I think it's straightforward to get there from here. And then it's, uh, the back of the labyrinth. There was those shelves at the back there, so. Which I think there's definitely one over there. That spot. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't consider to look there. So I think there's definitely at least one that's guaranteed in this area. I, I would be shocked if there wasn't something on that spot that I marked near the labyrinth. 
There's just... There's so much there that... Could be one. To those trees over there, and then I'm turning around. I mean, there's a chest in here. Nothing. Okay. Uh, heading to the stable now. It's alright, get this area out of the way, but to be honest, Lanayru, I think, is gonna be the, the spot where I find most of these missing ones. But I want to cover this west side of the map, at least, because... I think the west side of the map is the one that I've been the most consistent on. Except for that blatantly obvious one that I missed, but oh well, it happens. Oh yeah, we gotta pop in here. We're going to Headspring, then here, then to Banthar. Okay. Because I had a, a large area there that I missed as well. What's the fastest way from here? Yeah, no joke, just continue in this straight line. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so nervous that it's gonna get down to the last ten or the last five or even the final one and it's just gonna be a it's gonna take longer than the rest of them. I don't know. I just have this fear that I might run out of time just on the last one. I'll t there's some parts of the map that I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna entertain until I'm desperate and the part of the map that I'm just not gonna look for is just straight up pretty much from this this little box here because that is the most pointless part of the map it just has nothing it just has nothing I don't need to look here and even back here like I don't need to look like this is the section of the map that I'm the most confident that there is nothing there it's just because it has the Lost Woods, it has that shrine where it's pitch black, and those areas have nothing. I, I know this for a fact. And then it's like the rest of the area is just, uh, just slopes. It, there's no, there's no, there's not really anything there. So, I'm not looking there. Until the very end where I'm completely desperate, I'll look. Because it's just unlikely and I'm just going to waste time. 
Same with around the bridge of... The, the bridge near Lake Hylia, like that one... There's, there's nothing there. Like, there can't, there can't be anything there. I spent so much time in that spot. Okay, we're headed in the right direction. So it's, it's not too bad because... I think the, the only other spot I want to check in this western area is the... The gorge, I guess, and then those things that look like mushroom trees. I mean, maybe there's something I missed there. It's just that one's hard to do because sometimes you have to climb up to know. Okay, where is this large area? It's just straight ahead. Here. That's probably exactly where it is, too. I wouldn't be surprised if the last one I find is there. But then, maybe that's just more all the more reason to just, just climb them. I've climbed most of them. It's just some of the others I just went with. Okay, I'll just fly past them. But it's not enough. Okay, this is the spot, right? Yes, so... Just follow this, and then... It's on this side, yes, okay. I think that there's there's five that I I have some semblance of confidence that there's some in, in the spot. Like I, I imagine there's one more in in the castle, just because of course there will be. Um along that ridge where the Twin Peaks are. I think there's one there. So that's two. I reckon on the Linaria Mountain, there'll be two more. So that, yeah, that's four. And then, I mean, I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. It's down here. Right, so why was this rolled out? Because there was a whiz robe here, that's why. Well, I went through it, there's nothing here. Um, but further down, there's another spot. I should get rid of the marker while I'm here. Delete. Okay, Korok Mask did not go off. It's not here, so. No luck here. Well. Okay, where are we going now? Uh... Okay. Oh, there's, a, there's like, kind of like a... Yeah, okay, I'll go there. There's like a, a spot that looks like a broken bridge, kind of. It should be next to that skull, right? Where is it? Where did I see it? Yeah, just above the skull. It's probably something... That's one of those spots that, yeah, I could see there being something there. I just have to be careful, go around the back for the skull.
Oh. Okay. Climb. I'll be happy if I find one more in this area. Because that'll... It's like... I, f I found two in one area. In one tower area. So... That lines up with what I wanted to find. Is this what I was looking at? Mm, no, just a little bit up. Just a little bit further up. Though that, I mean, this would have gone off with a mask if it was the... Oh shit. It's here, it's here, it's basically here. There was a Korok there. Just a sec. Ah! This is more for good measure, not that I actually believe, but just a cross over there. Dude, enough with the style enemies. Does there really have to be one every minute? Honestly. Yeah, okay. Well. I thought maybe, but... Okay, I think I'm done here. wrong button. Uh, that one. Where? I just walked past here before. Why didn't it go off? Oh. Maybe because I was just up too high. Okay. There's another... Eight. Whoops, sorry. Eight, seven, six. All right, where am I going from here? No, that's good. That's that's enough. That's an, that's two for this area. I'm ha I'll I'll take that. That's all I wanted to find here is like two. Because I'm expecting most of them to be on the east side of the map, so I think that's a win. All right. Uh, I'm gonna head to Tabantha stable now. Just do a little sanity charge up the middle of it. With the exception of that top part where the two lionels are, there's no point. Um, but then there's the, uh, the northern shrine. What's that? <laughs> what was that, Link? I did not like the motion he was making there. 
and all the sounds. Use the pona in a while. up the middle. Oh, yeah. Let's find the starting point. I can get I can get rid of this now that I'm here. Um Yeah okay follow the road, follow the road, follow the road. But then turn around at a certain point. these trees here. Right. Yeah. Mm, nothing. Okay. Go to the edge. Careful. That should be enough to show that I went there. Okay. I, I don't think there's anything here, but this is just... Since I'm in this area, I don't want to go insane and go every single part of this. If I make it look like I genuinely tried everything, then I won't come back here. Okay, uh, now just stick to the middle. Oh shit. Wow. Okay, there's another one. No, that's really good. That's three for this area. If I fu oh, this is going to this is going to be a good area because I was expecting Either one of these three spots to be correct, and I still think one of these three spots is correct. So I think we might have four for this area, which is very good. If I can find four in this area, that's that's a very good thing. I guess we should just be able to spot it then if there was one in these fields. Yeah. 
Okay, we're approaching the danger zone. Yeah, we can't really go any further, so... But I will at least try to tighten this up. Yeah. So then that looks like less of an oversight. What? Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought that was a car up there. I saw the stones and they were in a pattern. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Oh, sometimes it... It makes you, uh... Yeah. Believe you found something and then it's nothing. They were in such a neat formation as- Oh, shit! Okay, that is why I haven't explored here. But that's fine. I didn't think it was here anyway. It's really down there that I'm interested in. Yeah. This is one of the spots. Come on. One of these has to be correct. Make sure Pona. Okay, no. Watch a Pona in the background. <laughs> okay, I thought it should be a straightforward walk across. One of these has to be correct. I thought this was a major oversight on my my part, but it, it was not. over there. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll walk up. We'll go around the whole thing. Thank you. 
Well, I've passed the marker now, so delete it. I mean, this one I didn't think so, but the one up ahead, I, I think, is probably the only other possibility in this area. Kinda <laughs> can't follow me. This one was just because I ran out of old resist, so... Let's see, hopefully. Huh. Oh, right. <laughs> I've been playing in areas that don't have rain. Huh. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Alright, well, the only thing left for this lap is just to jump into the canyon and walk up the canyon one more time. Because there's like, along one of the edges, there's... Yeah. I feel like there's an opportunity there. We'll see. This is one of these ones where it's just for good measure, and then eliminating this out of the picture, so then I don't, I'm not tempted to come back here, it's just because I'm in the area, and I guess I may as well. But I don't believe there's anything here, I think this, this at this point should be done. The exception of that one that I just missed at the other side. Which I guess there were two on the other side, so I don't know. I have no real way of knowing. <laughs> Just gut instinct at this point. Oh, come on, man. Do you really have to be raining now here? Just, just want to explore, that's all. This would be going off if it was here. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe to say. There's nothing there. Which, yeah, no surprise. I'm not expecting anything here. Sake of repetition, I guess. Oh. I mean, what are the odds that there's one in here? Didn't take that into account, but... Because I didn't really look for anything on the inside of this thing. I kind of just went on the outside. Shit. 
And there's no real way to tell what I've looked it for. Alright, that was a mistake on my part. I should have checked. Uh, okay, I'll go through it. Shit, I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> it never, almost never does that. The, uh, the blizzard spell. I just find that one so non-threatening compared to the others. I think I'm just gonna have to run through it and just... I'll, I guess it'll make it exciting for a little bit if I have to get through this. I don't think there's anything there, but I can at least rule it out and just be like, I went in there. Yep, there's nothing in there. But this is kind of like the same problem with Hyrule Castle, is I feel like I have to go in there one more time. Just to rule out the possibility. It's not that I believe it, it's just... Yeah, I think this is a case of don't assume. It's not here. Yeah, I mean, this has been done pretty well, I think. Okay, so here's, here's the plan, because I cannot be bothered fighting this shit. We're going to tank it up. Phase one. <laughs> come on, you gotta give me props. <laughs> that come on, come on. Come on, that was good. You motherfucker. <laughs> there was something here. Okay. This, wow, that sucks because it, I, I 
guess it makes sense. Why would it signal it from above? Because look at this, right? There's the ceiling. Why didn't it signal it when I was above? I guess to prevent people from going crazy thinking it was above when it's below. I'm going to have to go to Hyrule Castle one more time because I, I can see something similar happening, happening in Hyrule Castle. Where is this thing, though? Ah, yeah. I was going to climb to the top. I still might, to be honest. Maybe there's two here. No, okay, this is the top. Okay. Okay. Now... Now we must... Get back. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't have this out. I needed to have stasis out. Apparently there's not enough hearts to survive, even with a high... high buff potion, which... Ugh. Okay. Wait, why didn't the death count go up? I clicked it. There we go. Um, okay. This is gonna be fun. I think I need to do it from up higher. Climb to a higher spot and then glide down. Is it really dissecting me through the wall? I think I had it right. Go left side. The defense up really doesn't matter. If I if I take a hit, I'm dead, so. I'm not gonna eat another one. Why? I can get up higher. These things are insistive. As long as I can make my my flight time a little longer, buys me a little more time. So swap to this, because this also buys time. Link, why did you... There was enough room for you to run along that. Ugh, I hate the climbing sometimes. I wasn't even trying to climb, I was trying to run along it. Okay, I think I might have to actually dispense of a couple here. It's just going to be annoying otherwise. Or dispose, I said dispense. <laughs> dispose. It is past midnight, midnight brain has kicked in. Try one more time the brute force way, but I got the feeling.
Yep, keep climbing. <laughs> Why does it do that? I wasn't trying to climb. I press B to run and then it grabs onto the wall behind me. Alright, I'm just gonna have to take care of this, I guess. I don't understand that why some games insist on having... Like, there's so many buttons on this. Why does... Climb and run have to be two identical buttons? is going to hit me here. What time do I start work? Oh, it's usually 9 in the morning. Just standard hours. Okay, just wait a sec. Okay, go. Got it this time. Saving. Okay, go again. But I mean, sometimes it's a bit more. Just depends on what needs to get done. stressful, but hey, I did it. Okay, now I can't imagine there's any more on, on this area. Like, I think we're good. This is just, for good measure, walk up this one more, one more time so that I don't lose my mind and try to come back here. But see, this side here just didn't have much attention, and then over here there's a little gap. It's just fill in the gaps, then I don't get tempted to come back here again. It's too high up. I can't shoot that high. I might be able to catch up to it. Guys, any law? I'm looking up as well, just in case. Yeah, I'm too slow. Okay, I have a lot of uh, parts for that dragon. Okay, how does that look now? Does that look better? I mean... We'll backtrack a little. The dragon music... It's nice, but it... I don't know. 
It's very different to the other music. Yeah, okay, I should stop temptation. It's just... Just show the intent. Ah, oh, piss off. <laughs> I hate these things. Excuse me, is that a Korok? Yep. Alright, so much for, uh... Yep, not expecting another one here. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's fine. False alarm. It looked like the, the block... Alright, no, never mind. It... <laughs> I thought it was those block patterns, but it's not. And then it is actually this. Alright. You know what? I'm happy about it. It's, it's almost down to the last 20. Okay, still... Alright, let me look where I need to walk now. Um, directly across from me. Okay, that corner over there. Just cover that corner over there. Get this out, because we don't want this asshole to attack me. What'd I just say? I might have to... Sorry, horse, it's just... I'd rather not get put back. If I can get it to say 10, before I get to, uh, I doubt it's going to happen. But I can get it to 10 and not have explored Lanero a second time, I think it's good. Oh, there was one already there. Okay. We'll see. The, the mountains went better than I thought they would, to be honest. I thought I was not going to find more than one. Walking up this. Ah, uh, it just takes so long. I know, fast travel, but it breaks the rules. It's just a matter of... Planning again, once I get up there. I don't know why- why would I walk towards the Korok? I should be walking in areas where- away from him. <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't want to- jinx it, but I kind of want to jinx it just for the sake of finding another one, but I don't think there's another one here. I think for real I'm done here. Or at least for the time being. Until I get desperate enough to come back. <laughs> this is why I had so much cool resist as well. was because the amount of times I... I was here. I 
I just stacked it up. Still need to save up ten thousand. Bridge is making me tired. Uh Okay, hold on. I just noticed that's one I haven't climbed. No wait, but I've sailed past it, haven't I? Okay, no, never mind, I've sailed past it. It's okay. It's okay. I just noticed there was nothing leading up to it, but then I saw the lines where I've gone past it, which is enough. It should be enough. And if it's not, that's the first place I'm going to look when I come back here. Ugh. that end? No, shouldn't be. It just looks like it. I haven't bothered checking because I just don't I don't believe there's anything here. It was just that top half that had that little bit, which I guess did end up being something.
hate these things. Hopefully that's not it flying. Now I need to think, well I'll need to look at around the map, just again, I guess around the tower that's next to this one. Because I don't think I need to do central Hyrule. I think I'll, I'll just leave central Hyrule till last, it's just... Once I'm desperate, and I'm like, all right, Hyrule Castle, then I'll I'll go look for him. But but for now, I, I'm just going to say, yeah, that area should be covered. Hopefully, I might have a quick look, but uh, if it's on the way, otherwise I'm not going to bother too much with it. Never assume. No, I know, but the the thing is, there's only it's a, there's only a set amount of time, so I have to make assumptions in in some ways to just not have to go through every part of the map. I have to pick the parts that I think will do the most good, and it, it's worked to some degree. There there have been a, there have been a couple where it's been like, yeah, I'm glad I looked. But I can't do that for everything. The map's just too big. So I'm going with the number, like, if I can find three per tower, that's good. And so far, three per tower. I think here I've already found two because of the two that I didn't. Well, I found one that was obvious, but then the other one I found by accident, so it's just... I just need to find two more for this tower. And then I'm content. I still think most of them are on, on the east side of the map, I just, I just have this feeling. Because I, I did not do Hatino or Lanayru as consistently as here. Here I really like, if you notice, if you look at the scribbles on here versus over here, like, it starts getting pretty spread out here. It's just not as well done. I don't know. There's no way to tell. At the end of the day, I think this is just luck. The map is so green, yeah, and just wait until it draws out the whole thing in one go. The only part where I know it doesn't have to be green is here, because I know that where the beast is roaming, there's nothing. And then it's just whatever's a physical landmark on the map, that's where you go. Everything else you can ignore, because it's, it's just a desert. So the desert's not... I think it's the easiest area out of all of them. Unfortunately, the first time I played this, I wasted so much time in the desert. I thought there was more in there. There wasn't. Hey, game, you're having a Nutella wrap at a midnight snack. That doesn't have caffeine in it, does it? <laughs> Or by, like, proxy. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just backtracking, trying to find the last 21 Korok. 21, something like that. I'm stretched for the Koroks. It's hazelnut. Yeah, okay. I don't know. It's hazelnut, chocolate, and sugar. Okay, maybe the sugar part might be like a keep you awake for a little while thing. Nutella has caffeine as a result of the cocoa powder it has in it. It has a bit. Not much, but it has a bit. Thought so. Yep, because of the cocoa powder. That's why I was like, well, it's, it's cocoa based. Like, wouldn't that have caffeine in it? It's not a lot. It's okay. You'll be fine. It's not a lot, but yeah, it's... Um... It has caffeine in it. I'll do one of these. It's not like a cup of coffee. No, of course not. Of course not. But I guess it depends how sensitive you are to caffeine. Yeah, I need stuff that gives me health. Thank you. So I don't have many of it. That will do. Alright, uh... So we're here. Alright. So... Rolling out the mountain, not looking here. That mountain is the area that I looked at the most. So I think the only area for here that I want to look at is pretty much... Just this this strip here, so it's not it's not a big strip. It's just here. So this should be pretty quick. Okay, so let's take a look. There's a line along this hill. No need to look. Uh, this was fine. This, I doubt it because I I do remember this part. I doubt it. In all honesty, if, if there's going to be one, it's going to be here. So let's see. I reckon just go here. I'm just going to look here. And then up north. Lionel, no point. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to look there. I am just going to look there. So let's just go straight there. It's 12.48. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what it is for me too. It is late. So I guess we just pick the ones that I feel like I didn't climb, I guess. I don't think there's, there's anything here, but you never know. I thought I was pretty consistent in my checking here. Okay. This area sucks. <laughs> Just in terms of checking them. I wish the Koroks had like a larger range. So let's see. Where are we walking to? 
Um. I need, whoa! What? That one in the middle. Am I about to be proven wrong? How did I not go to, go to the one in the middle? What? Why? I don't see any. Oh, unless it's because of the Hinox. Hang on, where am I right now? There's nothing there. It's this one, right? It's this one. What? How did I not... I can't believe... Oh, damn it. Hang on. Just as I'm about to do something every time. No! Oh, no. Um, okay. Well, it's alright. There's another one over here. I didn't know you could chop these trees down. I guess it makes sense, the trees. Hang on. That's what I want. It's the same effort, so just climb it now. I don't need to climb the whole thing, though, because... Well, the core up thing should go off when I'm near the top, so I don't need to commit to it if I don't hear it go off. It looks like this is going to be nothing. Okay, false alarm. There's, there's nothing. Okay, that's another one I haven't climbed. I really don't want to climb all of them just for the sake of climbing them. I mean, maybe to get a higher vantage point. Is this one... I walked under it. It doesn't look like I climbed it. Because when I climb it, you can see there's like a path from another one. I don't have to climb the whole thing, it's just get high enough and then drop if it's nothing, so. There's three there. What about those? I don't like this area. <laughs> it's just... The blood moon rises once again. I couldn't kill anything because I was just about to respawn. Is there a high ground vantage point I can maybe see? Maybe I can spot stuff out from a high point. 
I think that's what I don't like about this area is like you have to climb. I might be able to see. Let's see. This game needs to just stop with the enemies. Okay, hang on, hang on. It's gonna keep harassing me otherwise. I just want to look, just... These enemies just annoy me so much. They following me? No, okay. It's not. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really have to climb all of them just to, to rule them out? I don't want to have to do that. Wait a minute. That one has a rock on top of it. That one has a rock on top of it. I just saw it. But why didn't it go? Why didn't it go off when I was climbing it? Go away. I don't mind the enemies. It's just give me five minutes without having anything harass me. It's just five minutes. Especially when they're just things that die in one hit. <laughs> it's more annoying than a challenge. So why didn't it go off with a rock? There's a rock up there. I saw it. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna laugh if it's just like a bird's nest or something, but I can't help it. Like, I, I swear I saw a rock or something up there. As I was flying in. I just noticed those birds. I don't think I've taken photos of them. See, the clock thing hasn't gone off. Why not? I'm climbing it. I'm just, I'm just gonna climb it. I know what I saw. Never assume. Yeah, but it usually in the. There's nothing. It usually indicates. Whilst that did not get me, I thought I saw a rock up here, there's nothing. What I did see, okay, hold on. Let's not lose it. Is there anything else I can spot? This, this was a good idea. And I think I'm going to do the same when I get up there. I think that's the key. Just take your time and look around.
Yeah, it's probably a nest. I think that's what I saw, to be honest. I don't know. Or it might just have been one of these bumps that just look like a rock, like... I maybe saw this. It doesn't matter. It still worked out. Oh, shit! Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. Two more. And when I get up there, I'm just gonna scope and look. I think that's the way to do it. I didn't do this the first time. That was my bad. I should have done it. So there's one. I'm glad that I, I did this. All from just thinking I saw a rock. <laughs> That's it. This wasn't... Imagine if I had not seen that. It wouldn't have led to this. Well, I'm happy. That's two. There's two more for this tower, so then we can move on. Like, I, I'm not going to look anywhere else in this area. Because everything else looks like it was covered well. It was just here. Oh, this is a tall one. Okay. Up we go. I mean, I guess just use this as well. So. Low speed one, but useful. Okay, so now we're down to less than 20. Oh, am I climbing this wrong? Or is... Man... That's a lot of stamina. Okay, what is it? Oh, oh, no, 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 it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. Okay. Oh, let me see. Here you are. Where are you? You like how I say here and no? Oh, yeah, the no I've gotten comments about. Because it's a different sound. If I'm frustrating, it's just the Aussie. No! I'm gonna have to climb down. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything else. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take a minute to look. Okay, uh, I've looked. I've looked. There is nothing else. Is this just gonna put me- Oh, this is funny. It's gonna put me on the one that I thought there was one on. So this is the end point. And so, you know what? There was a Korok here. <laughs> just... It wasn't a rock. Yeah. That's how I got bamboozled, look. That just looked like a rock from a distance. It's it's the geometry here. Like sometimes, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this is what I saw. Look, look just underneath the Korok's legs, on the left. That's what I thought I saw. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's just this 
Under certain lighting, it looks like a stone. Okay. But you know what? Blessing in disguise. I'll take it. Oh, what's that? The player is about to do something? Spawn multiple enemies on the player. Give them a challenge. Okay, I think I can hit that from here. It is master mode. This happens in normal mode as well. It's not a master mode thing. 881. Okay. I can delete the stamp. So I thought. I just need to walk over it. Okay. Let's look. I was just here. I was just here. We can rule that out. Don't worry about that. But I'm going to walk under it. Everything else looks good to me. I'm going to walk under this so then I don't think this later. That this is something. It's nothing. I floated over that. It should have registered if there was anything there. Let's just... Quickly... Walk under it so then I don't think there's anything here. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Well... Now I gotta look at the map again. So we're ruling that out. So I think... Pretty much this... So... Along here... That's the point where I'm gonna stop, like... And then... Let's just see. Okay, let's look here. I think the Colosseum's pretty good, too. I don't think the Plateau has any, so that one I'm eliminating for now. Central Hyrule, I was really, really... I feel like I was accurate with it, so I almost feel like skipping it. Unless I can see something that sticks out. Because some of these it's just fields and it has nothing. And it's usually you just go from ruin to ruin. So as long as I've gone from ruin to ruin and forest to forest, I'm happy with it. So I think we might skip Central Hyrule and just go straight to... Um... Yeah, like this side of the map. Hang on. Let me just look. Where am I going? Maybe something near a bridge. This is fine, because it's an enemy. Yeah, I don't really see... I don't really see anything here. I mean, okay, if I'm gonna be pedantic... Yeah, maybe here, because there's like, this is a pretty big strip here. But otherwise, I think we're good here. Okay, I'll just, it's on the way anyway, so it's one spot, I, I, I don't care, let's just go look. It's just because it has trees near it, that's the only reason. If it didn't have trees near it, I would have skipped it. It's just... There was a Korok there. There's no there's no real chance that there's another one. It's just... Compared to the other spots, it's unlikely. So I'll go there, and then from... I'm gonna... I'm gonna start it again from here. So I'll walk along this rid both ridges, and then when I'm done, I'll plan again. But, you know, the next set is gonna be the important one. I feel like this is where now I have to look carefully at the map. <laughs> 
this is just... Ah... Uh, I don't know. This takes forever. But, I mean, so far, doing a good job. I've found, what, like, ten? And it's a third of the map. If I find another ten in each third, then that that's correct. It, it adds up. I think there's 21 left, right? No, there's 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 19 remaining. There's 19 remaining. That's not bad. And I have a semblance of confidence that they're in Lanayru, most of them. so close. I know, but I it's not going to get done today, clearly. Like, it takes a while to get there and explore everything. But it's going to put me in a pretty good position, I think. If I can finish this tomorrow, I'll be so happy, but we'll see. Depends how, how quick I, it has it has to be by the end of the week. Like if I'm still doing this on Saturday, that's bad. Cause then I only have a few days to get the rest of this done. Okay, where was the spot that I was pointing out? I didn't put a shield down, but it's okay. I, it's over here. It's over here. It's fine. I should have put a shield down. I think the other reason I, d I doubt this is just because that. Yeah, let's be thorough. Doesn't look like it. This is the only spot that I would think to check. Without including Castle Town, which I don't think Castle Town has it. Like, it would be the castle itself. Okay, so hang on. It was, like, towards the trees. Let's have a look. Oh, that bird's just flying into the wall. Okay, where is it? Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, 18 remain. Excellent. All right. I'm still gonna do this. <laughs> I think it would have appeared if, if it was the... Come on. I just want a ride. There you go. I just I just want a little a little ride, a lift. Give me a lift. So I'm not wasting stamina and I move a little quicker. Oh, 
Der ikke engang er. I guess now we just head to uh, the Twin Peaks. Hang on. That was where I was, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's head to it. Wait, did that thing just disappear? Where? Wow, okay. Why did I miss this one? Oh. That would be why. <laughs> Hang on, there's another... What is this pointing at? But see, this is not even a landmark. Okay, well... I'm going up this mountain because there's too many guardians around here. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'll be back to Central Hyrule to do the castle one more time, I guess. But not... Not now. That's like, uh... If I'm desperate and I still haven't found them all. The one that I, I found weird was the one at the top. Okay, when I went to Zora's Domain, I did the thing where you glide to the top of it. But there wasn't one at the top, but I swear there was one. There was one underneath it. I almost want to look it up, but I'm just going to jump down one more time. But. The, I remember there being one at the top of Zora's Domain. Because from the start, I had that one in mind to go do that right away. And I did, but I didn't find it. So... No. The thing is, I didn't have the mask back then, so that might be... Yeah. Might be worth doing again. Because that was before the mask, I think. No, I had the mask. I don't know. It bothers me because I distinctly remember that there was one at the very top. I remember it. Like... Because it was annoying to get in the rain. I'm gonna check again, yeah. But that, I guess, is once I'm done with Lineru.
So wait, how many are remaining? Sorry, I've, I've, I keep losing track. 17. Okay. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Ugh. That was just unlucky. A spear and just... yeah. <laughs> Directly in front of me. That's just unlucky. Oh, look, it's raining. Ugh, okay. But at least it put me back here. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not that far back. <laughs> I just got the fit. I just have this fit, like... Call it gut instinct, but I'm gonna be in Hyrule Castle again. Because I, I'm think so after Lanayru, I'd be checking Farron because it's, it's immediate. It's immediately there, but Farron, I, I feel like I did pretty well as well. Like Farron's when anything from. After Akala. Anything after Akala, I was being very, very good about it. It's L it's Lanayru and Hatina that I was the most lazy with. Everything else, I'd be, I'd be betting there's only like one, if that. I'm going to go pick up the horse, because... The fuck was that? I think it's one of those, um... What do you call it? There's a chest that gives you items from Xenoblade Chronicles. I think it's one of those. Not again! Hang on. Suppose that's one clear advantage to the horse is just style enemies don't harass you. There's the style enemies, yeah. They just appear way too often. I need to make new stamina food since uh, I had to use a bit. Oh, but I can't because it's raining. And for some reason they had the cooking outside. Cold resist stuff, but that'll that'll be later. Hmm. 
Okay. What are you even being a- no, that's not for real. They're not being attacked by anything, it's a fake. That has to be- that has to be a bait. Help me, kind stranger! And then they just pull out a, a knife. Probably a better idea to go do Farron. Yeah. Just because I'm more confident that that one's done. After this ridge thing, like I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this. I've, I've pointed it out several times, and I just haven't gone along it. Because laziness, I have to climb up, and it's, it's raining or it's cold. It's just. I have pointed it out multiple times that area. Uh, to be honest, I want- I don't want there to be one, because that- then it's like, alright, that's laziness. I could have had that one. That's just laziness on my part. I hope there isn't one, though. Well, we're gonna find out soon. Yeah, so on either side, the thing that runs just high enough that there's a perimeter around it. But not the shrine itself, if that makes sense. I guess the best way to get up there... be over here, I think. What? Leave a pony here. Oh, look what wastes no time to spawn. I hope I'm wrong. Because I pointed this out so many times. And there's one above me as well. That's the end of this shelf. Alright, go up one. I might be wrong. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that. I can kind of already I can kind of already see that that one wouldn't be one anyway, because it's got the shrine immediately, but this one here was the one I was curious about. And then the one above it, but I just never bothered to walk across it.
This area is Nekluda, so it's not quite Hatina Lunaria, but it kind of falls under the category. Anything after this mountain was what I was thinking. Oh, thank you. Okay. And then that. Fuck. I was right. <laughs> I was about to say, and then the one across from here. Shit. I hate it when I'm right. Okay, that's all there is to that one. Alright, go up and jump across and do the same on the other side, because... You know what? There's probably another one on the other side as well. Oh, what's that? You want to climb? You want to climb? You want to climb? be a real shame if something were to prevent you from climbing for five minutes. If not longer. Should be the level of the shelf. so I can just jump across to the next one. So far. How far does this one go? Place your bet. I got the feeling there's one here. Or here. That, to me, just screams, oh no, you forgot. Well, there's one at the end here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, but then I have to climb back up. All right, I'll try it. If you say yes, I'll try it. So 
exactly? What, what am I looking at here? Hang on, let's just make sure I got this in the equation. I just looked at that and it was just something that w whilst... Okay. There's a little bit more beyond here that I want to fill in. Hang on. I know I'm getting distracted, but it's just looking at it now. While I'm here... I just saw it and the two big gaps behind one another. I don't know. Particularly here, like this is... This was just too big to ignore. Yeah, doesn't look like there's anything here. I mean, there's also the descent, the little platform there, but I think when I was further down there, it would have gone off, but I'll look. Since there's enough height where it could still work. But I'm going to go back. <laughs> I have to go check, uh, yeah, that spot. Mm. There's a bridge. Okay, hang on. Where is this little thing? To the right. Yeah, I don't see anything. But this one's like right in the corner. Where is it? I don't see it. Fuck. Is it above me? No, it stopped here. Where is it? Below? What? It stopped. Where is this one? Ah. Okay. Wow. Is that even... I think that was just really lucky what just happened. Assuming it's th assuming it's there, I don't know. There's definitely something there, so I'm not giving up. Where is it? I I thought it was gonna be below, but I guess not. Really. I think at this point I may as well just go walk up the hill and just drop down. It seems it seems quicker. Okay, so what? Now we're down to sixteen. Any luck, 15, if there's one on the other side? I mean, you know, the shelves. Ooh. 
So wait, would this go off if I was up here? Because if it doesn't, that's, uh... Let's see. If I can see it. This doesn't go off from up here. Even when you're on the edge. Yeah, wow. This was lucky. Okay. This is in a kind of a dick move spot. Wait, we're down to 15. I thought we were down to 16. Okay, 15. Okay, uh, I'm gonna climb back up. It's just a walk, it's not really a climb, but then jump across and walk around the other shelf. And then I'll plan out Farron, which is pretty much just the jungle. I'm just gonna have a look around the jungle. Because the Lake Hylia side, I'm, I'm pretty confident that's fine. As well as the side heading to the Gerudo area. That was very, very detailed with that one. And I found even more earlier, so... Let's just leave that out for now. So, I guess I hit my goal, I said... Get it down to half of what's remaining. Okay, shelf's over there. And do the same thing, just walk across this. Now I want to be correct that there's one here. Because I'll make it 14. There's one more shelf below me, so... Okay, this one ends here. Oh, no, wait, the one below me leads to the shrine. There's no point in checking that one. We're okay. Okay, so, no, it was just one. It was just one. Um, I'm gonna go back to over here, and I'm gonna plan out Farron. This is, this leads to the jungle. Assuming I even want to do Farron, I don't know. I'm leaning towards no, unless, unless something pops up. I think Farron might be, like, if I'm really desperate. It's because it's annoying. It rains there way too much. But, okay. I guess we... We just see. They love the rain. I mean, in real life, yeah. In, in this game, no. Okay. Let's have a look. Rain. 
Really? What, what, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this massive L shape? Uh, okay, so there, 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 that one's fine, I think. Dude, where is this near that I missed? Ah, uh, that's why. No, 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 I know why. Spirit, it's the spring of courage, that's why. Because there's liz- this is fair enough, it's because there's lizards. And I just left it, but I'm still gonna look. Uh. Okay, uh, here. Yeah. This is not that bad, I think. Let's see. Beach is fine. That's fine. No, that's in close proximity to that. That's okay. These, I know, these are a waste of time. I know these are a waste of time. This, do not bother with this area. Aside from the one that's like some, there's a couple on the edge, but the actual ponds themselves, they're a waste of time. The ones that have Hinox in them, they have nothing. I know this. I remember this. Uh, this looks okay. Yeah, this looks really filled in. That's fine. Um, well, that's that's effectively the, the Nakluda area, and then here we're kind of heading into... Okay. This is where we head to into Hatina. What's here? What is here? I think I should check there regardless. Um this spot maybe as well. What else? Oh my god. There. There. And... Oh, I'm out of stamps, but... Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there's more to do in Baron than I thought, but in all honesty, it's just a path. Look at this. It's like, go down here. Go here. Go up. Go here. And go here. Okay. It's not that bad. I, I understand why, but I really should have come back for that. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought... I had really just skipped that for no reason, but there's a reason. I just didn't want to deal with it and just never went back, so. We shall see. It's just there's too many shelves there, that's, that's the thing. Okay, first spot here. Looks like nothing. Okay, delete it. Ah, oh, crap, right.
I'm going to save because I haven't saved in a while. Let's not. Game Y. <laughs> it's just when I want to climb. There's going to be climbing involved here. Okay. That can go. And just walk along the middle. Oh, thank you. Sweet mercy. also look down, but... Okay, jump across and just fly in, kind of like this. Nothing on that tree, just wanted to make sure. Fuck, it's raining! <laughs> Not, that was two whole minutes. And it stopped again. so far. Let me look. There's directly above me as well. Okay, hold on. up one more. That scared the crap out of me. Go. How high is this? Let's see. Pretty high. Alright, I'll climb up. Even though I don't think it's anything. Oh no. Oh boy. It would have gone off if there was anything now, but this is now a safety thing. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I hate this game. That would be why that gap is there. Well, well, well. <laughs> I mean, hang on, where is this? There's a lot of fish here, why? 
Hey, Magic Moo, how's it going? Where is this one? I can't exactly climb right now. Climb. This game insists on having rain any time I want to climb. Okay, stand. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's actually letting me climb this. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Fourteen left. And then this, so that was it along this shelf and it, it paid off. But this one, it was it was laziness. I just didn't want to deal with anything close to the Shrine of Courage. What the fuck? Did that just happen? <laughs> Are we seeing this again? That seemed abrupt. Or was I just not paying attention? Oh no, but I've I've, br I've broken this game once before with the blood moons. Like I couldn't take a step without a new blood moon. I've broken the game once already. Did I do it again? No, it seems fine. That was weird. Okay. It's it's, it's not broken. Sometimes I won't I won't get a blood moon at all. Okay, so we're going down. Well, it's not really down, but it's on a high ground spot. It was snowballing the other day, and one pin wouldn't stop moving for a solid minute. Thought it was going to be stuck. <laughs> there is jank in this game. I almost got struck by lightning indoors, so that was that was a thing. mention having a blood moon every single step I take. Maybe there's just something wrong with Farron, like... Because when I did break things, it was not this... this tower. Maybe there's just something about this area it doesn't like. Continue along here. I'm pretty confident with this. Aside from that ridiculous section <laughs> that I just left, I think I'm confident with this area. I 
heard the Korok sound. <laughs> I got excited, but it's just one one of the ones I already found. Okay, the easiest way is just to waterfall up this way. I need to walk for a bit. No interest in such things. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Just complete destruction. I mean, how hard is it to climb up there? I don't think it's that hard. It's not raining, so I guess let's just climb up. Times you come to this area, it rains with lightning, it never fails. Yeah, it's because of the shrine. The shrine that requires lightning to happen. But if, I don't know, they should calm it down after you do it. Just a little bit over a week away from finding out if we have to deal with more rain again. You did the shrine and stopped after that, haven't been back. No, I've had lightning. <laughs> a couple times already. Whilst in this area. It doesn't dumb it down. It still happens. They would have to be very, very tone deaf. If they were to just release Tears of the Kingdom and the rain system is exactly the same as this one. That's it's quite a tone-deaf thing. Because anyone you talk to about this game, they just, they all, it's almost unanimous that rain is just successive and it just gets in your way too much. Wait, where is this? This isn't even here. Where is where is this pointing at? Ah, yeah. Okay. Seems very empty, but hey, I had to check. I had to check. <laughs> okay. These can be removed. Okay, and now... Over here. And then head up this way. 
those two are the last ones. That should be barren. <laughs> At least what I'm willing to check right now. Right now it's... I pick out the things that I think are very obvious. I'm not nitpicking, just things that are like, hmm, yep, you know what? Likely. So far it's been working. I'm hoping it's not gonna... Not gonna be a thing where I have to start getting desperate, but... We'll see. The first step of desperation is Hyrule Castle. How many seeds have I found? Uh oh. 886. So it's kind of getting to that point where they're going to start getting more scarce and some of these areas I check, it's less likely to bring up a result. I've done all the I've done all the shrines I can. There's two remaining that are locked behind the divine beasts, so the shrines are done. At least for now. <laughs> Which side is this on? Yep, just keep walking in this direction. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, I mean, I need to really think about if I'm going to find these again in Tears of the Kingdom. Because they, they do exist. They do exist in Tears of the Kingdom again. It's just to what extent, I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to find over, like, either 900 or over 900 again. Especially if they haven't changed the reward. <laughs> I suppose when we're in Hatina, I'll go down to the beach and uh, clear out the beach. The one that I keep pushing not to do, so it should be fine now. Oh shit, speaking of beach. I didn't go back to the village to talk to the guy. Good thing I caught that now. Fisherman. There you go. You took care of the monsters at Aris Beach. There we go. That's it. <laughs> It's just a turn in the quest. Um, there was the dinner as well, which I think I, I have the butter. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get the ingredients, there you go. Seafood powder. <laughs> Unfortunately, no buffs. Okay. That's it, I think. Gotta also go back to that stable to the dude that wants to see um, the Hylian thing. Hylian royal food, which is just two fruit, wheat, sugarcane, and what was the other one? Egg? Yeah. Nice and peaceful. Okay. It's only because paranoid, that's all. There's nothing. Oh wait, it's the one beneath me. Hold on. Yeah, I mean it could it could very well be. Okay, it's not. But that's fine, rule it out. Uh, delete. Okay. I think one in every ten guesses get, gets me a core <laughs> so far. I think that luck is going to start getting less and less because. There'll be less to find. I'm hoping Lanaru comes up big, the mountain. And its surroundings. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna start worrying. But right now... Uh, it's still within reason. There's Kakarika Village, there's Lanaru Mountain, and then there's Zora's Domain and just the entry to Akala, because I think Northern Akala's fine. And then, I mean, worst comes to worst, I go check Death Mountain one more time, but before I get desperate on checking uh, Hyrule Castle, I think that's the flow of things. And then after Hyrule Castle, that's when I have to go, okay. Repeat the process again, except now I'm being nitpicky. Uh, what's the oh shit, I missed it. 
I'm hoping if all goes well tomorrow, I'll get to a point where I'm just searching for the last few. Uh, that's cooking ingredients. Where is this? Oh, it's this way. Ah, because it went over. Yeah, what? I'm disorienting myself. I mean, I, th I think I'm over where I thought this was going to be. Okay. Delete it. Where are we going? We are heading along this cliffside until we get to the navel. Because there's a few cliffs near the Hatino Fort Wall that, uh, yeah. Probably should have checked them. Wouldn't be surprised if there's two there. Keep going along this path. Wait. I turned inwards. Nope. We want to go that way. Pretty close. This is on the way to Fort Hatino. Okay, so these are the spots, so here and here, and I'm almost positive there's going to be, there's going to be something here, there has to be. That's too many shelves in a row that have not been explored, so at least one here. Okay, where are we? 
Alright, so starting from this one. Not this one, but like... It's directly underneath. There it is. Okay. Because it's right next to the river, so I wouldn't blame me for not checking this, but... I probably should have checked it. Okay, nothing yet. Why so far away? Really? Nothing? Okay, there's, there's one more, there's one more. ground first. What? Nothing? This is surprising. Wow, there's nothing here. Unless it's down here. There's nothing here. That is surprising. I'm I'm kind of shocked there was nothing there. I thought for sure. Okay, um... Okay, well... <laughs> yes, but... The thing is, most of this is just plain, so what are we, we're gonna do is... Yeah! But well, we're going to Kakariko Village. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I think we're about to find one more chat. I'm looking at the, uh, no, yeah, okay. That's because every time I was here, it was raining. Okay. And that one. Right? Yes. <laughs> How many, imagine there's one, how many, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six. Imagine I find six up here. I'm gonna hate it. I'm going to hate it. But I was kind of right. I said Laneru area. Oh no. Please, please. I hope I'm wrong. It'd be tragic. But if there's truly six there, that's gonna get us down to, uh, single digits, so that'd be cool. Which, if, if that's the case, then Mount Lanero will almost finish it. That was pretty good. Alright, and then continue this way. Ah, because it's a camp. That's why. That's why I haven't gone here. Pretty big one at that. I mean, that's fine. I almost feel like marking it, like it's a, it's there, but for now.
I've made more progress than I thought I would, at least, so I'm happy. I thought I'd be stuck in, in the 20s, at least, still, so this is good. Yeah, no. Yeah, I gotta be careful, there's an assassin waiting here. This is one of these annoying ones that's like line of sight as well. Still haven't talked, still haven't had a chat with you. Don't mind me. Directly behind me. Okay. Now would probably be the time to climb up. Oh boy. Can't wait for there to be six Koroks up here. Every time I came here and I wanted to climb them, it was raining. I guess I just forgot about it. No! 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 Come back! Dickhead! Ah, uh, I hate, I hate this sometimes. This one is this one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Let's try not. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, just climb. I don't think this one has it. It would have made a sound already. So that's good. This one is this one. Huh. 
nothing. O for two. Well, I mean, maybe there's nothing here. I, do you know what? It, it wouldn't be weird because there are other areas that look significant and then there's nothing, so. I'm okay with this having nothing. Well, okay, no, I want one at least, but I'm okay with it not being six. <laughs> That's better. Ah, ah! Why you do this? Ev time I want to climb. Yes. Provide atmosphere to the player. Immersion. Fuck. Okay, there's one. Hello, is it Twitch at? <laughs> okay. Well, at least there was one. I'll I'll be happy with one. Eight eighty-seven. Go this way. Yeah, I've been going back tracking through areas. I'm going through each tower, except a few select ones that I'm confident in, and just picking areas where I feel like I didn't do a good job. And so, uh, some success... Ooh, what is this? Okay, go check that out. Some success... For sure, but it, it's been it's been this the whole time. So I think this is good so far. I think it's going as expected because I did think that the eastern region of the map I didn't do as as concisely as as the western half, but there were a couple of surprises where I just could not believe that uh, there was a Korok there or that I missed it. What I can't believe right now is just how this game was play tested and they didn't think this was fucking annoying at any point. Honestly, how does how does this not come up in conversation? Can I? Okay, I can walk there, so that's fine. I mean, at this point, I may as well walk the perimeter. It's not like I can climb now or anything and achieve what I want to achieve. The game has hinted me to the point where I can't do anything. Chat, do you think this rain thing is just a result of... In Japan, they have game shows where they inflict human suffering and they find it funny. 
Is this just a case of lol human suffering? Like this is just... Maybe this is just a cultural difference. Like Link is on a Japanese game show right now. I hate this so much! Oh, if this is a thing in Tears of the Kingdom, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to go on the biggest rant. sound of the Korok. So I guess it, there was only one, which I'm okay with. At least there wasn't six. Okay, so there's two. Still. Eight, eight, eight. I'm going to follow the rule of two or three per area extra that I find. I think I'm going to Hatino now. Because I can't see anything else that really stands out in this cluster. Every time I find a Korok, the chance of rain increases. Yeah, that was, uh... It's always a thing. Mount Lanero is... I'm basically going, almost going to explore Mount Lanero in its entirety. If I'm being real. Maybe not all of it, but definitely a better job than what I currently did. I was really lazy with it, because I remember there's not that many on there, but... I think I took too much of a half-assed approach. But, twelve. Twelve remain. If I can find six on Mount Lanero, I'm laughing. Because that, that just means that I have to find... Another another six between... Um, Zora's Domain, Akala... The Elden Volcano area... And then... Yeah, that's it. And then I guess, if I'm desperate, Hyrule Castle. Which I think is reasonable. It's like, you would find two between each one. Hopefully. It's, it's obviously not going to pan out that way, but... I would like to believe that maybe, just maybe, it might. Yeah, 
I can put this back on before. I can't believe I got down to 12 tonight. That's that's awesome. comes to us, I just have to take the Gerudo Valley into consideration again. So I'm pretty positive I did that right. <laughs> but I might be wrong. <laughs> That's what doubt will start sinking in if like if I go through Hyrule Castle again and it's still not uh not done. That's where I'll have to really, really consider where so afraid that this is gonna end up in me hunting one down somewhere. Ugh. I haven't really been checking this just because I just want to get to the town. But also I'm hugging the walls. behind me. Call resist, it's fine, just leave it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going down the rabbit hole here.
I'm buying ingredients again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'll do. Hey, I want to get out. Oh, they're running away from my house. Why? This is my cozy house. Oh, I can't close the door? Too much of an imagination, huh? See, that would be a good spot to put a Korok, I think, inside your house. Those look okay. Okay, let me do some planning. <laughs> what? Okay, there. That's, that's, uh... What the heck? What is- what is this? What is this? What is this? There. I mean, I- I know- I know, I admittedly said I was lazy with this area. Um... There. Okay, now, this is where I kinda have to be picky, so... I'm gonna say, eight spots on Lanary Mountain. So eight points that we're going to fly across. One. I mean, this is walking across, so I'll walk across it. But there, that's going to be how we get to high ground from here. Alright, let's... No! <sighs> let's not count this. Okay, uh... What's happening? There we go. Uh, no, that's fine. Ah, uh, there's a whole coast here. Okay, there. I bet there's one there. That's a beach. Of course, there's one there. Hmm, doubt it. I went there. Okay, uh... These are camps. It's, it's very unlikely. There. That's unlikely. That is unlikely. I'm just going off the memories that this area sucked, and there wasn't much. Uh... Let's go here. Not that I believe it, but I reckon... Following this... And then... I know that's already been done. Okay. Uh, no. Which way? This way. Okay, so... Potentially here. And go to this one here. As long as it's kind of... I think that should be okay. Because it's just here, there's, there's nothing real... Aside from... I guess I'll use my judgment, but like, I doubt it. Wait, where'd the other one go? There's... There's a pin somewhere that I haven't gotten rid of. Ah, there. Delete it. That's all good.
Ja. I think that should do, because it'll divide it this way, divide it this way, divide it that way, divide it that way, and then that way. I mean, if this is high enough, what? Well, damn it, I keep doing that. If that's high enough, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I'm just planning how to head into Zora's domain. Yeah, okay. And then, I guess, eventually just cross the river. It might look like a, not, a lot, but I'm not planning on being that um, concise with it. But okay, I just want to lay that plan down. But that will be for tomorrow, chat. I need to get some rest, it's late. But good, good progress. 12 remain. <laughs> we'll see. This mountain had better have a bunch of them, because if it doesn't, that's when I'm going to get really worried about how this is going to end, because... There's not much time left until Tears releases, and, uh, yeah. I don't want to be doing this when the game releases, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, even if this was, like, a bit of a, a walk about the entire map, practically. But we're getting there. <sighs> anyway, if you want to keep watching more of the content, uh, yeah. As always, you can watch on YouTube. Most of the streams go up there pretty much immediately for this playthrough. But you can also find a bunch of other stuff there. So I hope you do check it out. You can just search for the channel name over there or go to shambles.gg and there's convenient links you can click to just get there right away. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around till the end. And if you want to do any of that fun algorithm stuff to support, appreciate it for doing that. Alright, I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow and hopefully get closer to finishing it so yeah take care everyone enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you next time